Going from 3D prints to cast aluminum parts is fun. Let me show you how I do it. <laughs> Perfect. When I was a kid, we used to make these things called Rosetta, which are kind of the Scandinavian love child of potato chips and funnel cakes. And the way you make them is you take a specially shaped iron that's really hot and you dip it in batter and then it into a vat of hot oil. It's really uh, left an impression. Recently, I was remembering doing that and I thought maybe it'd be fun to recapture some of that with my kids. Now the irons are usually shaped like snowflakes or stars or flowers or something. Clearly there's room for improvement. I thought maybe I'd design a skull or a bat or something and then we could ring in the new year with a crispy bat. Ring in the new year. Is that really what you do with Rosetta? Maybe, maybe. Sand casting in aluminum is actually really fun and not that hard to do. I keep a big Rubbermaid tub of sand and tools under the house for just such situations where I need some metal parts. I'll show you how I do it. I'll teach you a little bit about some of the issues involved with casting and you'll see the whole process start to finish. I hope it works out. I hope they're as good as I remember. <laughs> when designing a pattern, it's important that it be very smooth and that the sides slope a bit so that it's easy to remove from the sand. <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> slope in. That's better. It's good to avoid forming sharp edges of sand. Instead, use a rounded edge. Grains of sand at the very edge can come loose with the slightest location. Oh, jeez. Guys? Guys? Yay! All right, let's put some of those ideas to work. Well, the sand stuck to the pattern, so I guess I'll have to ram that up again off camera.
Now all I have to do is cut a pouring cup and close up the mold. I wasn't sure about using a voiceover in this segment, but Tyrell had told me this sequence was special. No termination date. I didn't know how long this mold would hold together, but who does? Here you can see how the aluminum is going to pour in and then fill the mold from the bottom up. All right, the pattern's finally ready to be cast, but if you've been paying close attention, you might have noticed that part of the pattern has these weird bumps, and you might be wondering, what the heck are those bumps? Why are those there? And the short answer is that as molten metal cools and solidifies, it shrinks. And that has big effects on how you have to design your pattern. And those areas act as a reservoir of hot material. But if you'd like to see a video going into that in more detail, post a comment and I will get on it. All right, let's cast this thing.
right, so it's done. Let's hop on over to the kitchen and give it a try. It's like I remember.